Dr. Alan Christensen here. I want to tell you about why thyroid disease is not better diagnosed and better treated. It's a question I get so often, and it's such a yearning, deep, appropriate question. Someone will say, why have I had to suffer for so long before someone could make sense out of this, before I could get better? You know, unfortunately, a lot of us think of thyroid disease as the Rodney Danger field of medicine. You know, it gets no respect. It affects more people than so many diseases that we wear ribbons for or have marches or crusades for, yet the medications that are out, the ones that are most commonly used, guess when they were made? It was about 1890. Yeah, there's been no big advances since that time in the main medical world. Now what happens is that medicine is driven by economics, unfortunately. So there's big full color ads in magazines each month. You'll never see a big full color ad for penicillin because it's no longer under patent. It's an old medicine. No one is making a lot of money off of it. So it's all driven by brand new exciting medicines or it's being driven by high tech, high ticket procedures. Managing thyroid disease doesn't involve new patentable medications and it doesn't involve high ticket procedures. So unfortunately, it's gotten far too little attention. In most cases, doctors only pick it up when it's gone on for a long time and it's very progressed. And they only treat until someone is kind of like everybody else that has thyroid disease rather than just like people who are healthy. So that's the big reason. And I'm so passionate to teach doctors internationally now and help so many more understand to diagnose it and to treat it more effectively.